I guess it all kind of starts with my uh, great grandpa, Andrew. He started farming and then my grandpa, Jim. And then my, my dad, Dave, started farming when he was 16 when his dad passed away. And he picked up the farm at 16 and he carried the farm for many years. That passion he had on the farm has transferred into James and I, so it's been pretty special. There's a generational fear that comes with farming. So many family farms have ceased to exist because of problems that they couldn't overcome at the time. In the last five years, we've seen some of the most adverse weather events that my dad has seen in the last 53 years of his farming. We are starting to have trouble with herbicide resistant weeds, which led us to start strip tilling and trying new avenues to help prevent them things, which has snowballed into effect of soil health, being mindful of how much herbicides we use on our fields, trying to just make the soil better. Our weeds have an ability to grow 8, 10, 12 feet tall. So from a management of weed standpoint, we have a lot of challenges. We have challenges from beginning to end. It's really like a war versus weeds, as far as the farmer's perspective goes. We need an alternative that doesn't use the chemicals for tilling. And so, fortunately, there are solutions that have been used for thousands of years that we are automating. Uh, no weed is immune to a steel tool, and that is what we are using. And we believe this is like the beginning of a chance to regenerate the planet and, and start again. The iGen Element robotic platform is an intelligent platform that understands the difference between a crop and a weed. And it's also 100% autonomous and 100% powered by the sun, which means it sleeps out in the farm and wakes up in the farm and there's no home base that is required. We see ourselves as a partner to the farm. But what we aim to do is save time and money for the farmers. We roll up in a van with a fleet of robots and deploy it at scale with our own field operators. Once the robots are deployed, it is our responsibility to maintain and monitor the robots. The farmers themselves would be free to not have to worry about uh, weeds on their farms. What we do is we use machine learning to identify weeds in the field, and then we have two two-axis robot arms that as the robot drives by, pull the weeds up out of the ground. When you combine robotics with technology that is operated off a GPS system, and they can work around the clock. They don't, they don't have to sleep. They don't get tired. So I think there's a, an endless um, opportunity for how we might use this technology. We really care about the planetary health and human health. And the intersection between that is agriculture. And that is why we are focused on solving this problem. In agriculture, you just need to keep learning, keep studying, you know. Uh, there's always something new to learn. There's always a new technology out there. There's always a new practice. If you're not moving forward, you're not, you're not going anywhere. We are excited about iGen. This has allowed us to change our direction and become more conscious of soil health.